everyone, this is Lisa Lyman and I'm here to talk to you today about how you can study abroad as a Cascadia student. Uh, you might not have known that Cascadia College students have the opportunity to um, spend some time abroad uh, while you're earning credits towards your associate's degree. So we, Cascadia, are part of um, a group called the Washington State Community College Consortium for Study Abroad, which is really long, so we abbreviate it as WICSA. And so WICSA, it's currently um, 19 of the community colleges in the state of Washington who work together to put on study abroad programs. So on these programs, um, you would be with Cascadia students studying abroad, but also students from the other member colleges as well. And we also send um, one of our faculty members to teach the classes abroad. Uh, so this means it's very, it'll be familiar teaching style. You don't have to adjust to an entirely different education system um, in a foreign country. The classes are taught in English unless it's a specific language class. So um, again, we don't have a, a requirement to know a foreign language to study abroad. Um, yeah, and it's really great. We have a lot of programs, maybe, I'm trying to count real quick, uh, between maybe five and eight programs each year. Um, most of them are for a full quarter, so spending, you know, 10 to 11 weeks abroad um, in either fall, winter, or spring quarters, every once in a while a summer program. And then we also have short-term programs, uh, typically in the summer, and those are between two to four weeks long. Often it's in um, uh, the pre-fall quarter, which is in between um, summer quarter and fall quarter. So these can be great ways to fit study abroad in to your education um, at Cascadia without totally disrupting uh, what you were planning on doing for an entire quarter. So um, those short-term programs, the um, full sort of full quarter long programs and like I said so we're going a lot of different places each year um, typically we have programs I'll just list off some of the ones that we're doing right now um, Tokyo Japan uh, Barcelona Spain London England uh, Germany in Berlin uh, let's see where else Lyon France um, a combo of Melbourne, Australia, and Auckland, New Zealand. Um, missing a couple. Uh, we, every summer we go to Alajuela, Costa Rica for a short-term program. And our other short-term programs, um, we have a, one coming up to Shanghai, China, and another one in the past that we've offered to Rabat in Morocco. Um, we're changing that periodically. We'll try out new destinations or bring back some place that we haven't um, gone to in a while. So sometimes that will change, but we try to do a good variety of um, European destinations, Asian destinations, um, Central, South America, and Africa as well. Oh, and I forgot one, uh, Taipei, Taiwan as well. Ugh, it's hard to keep track. So a lot of really great programs. Um, for quarter-long programs, you're taking three classes, 15 credits while you're there. For the short-term summer programs, we do uh, just a five-credit class. Um, and again, those are classes that are uh, designed to be transferable. They're counting towards your associate's degree. You just have to work with an academic advisor to kind of map out those specific credits um, towards your degree. And let's see, just um, kind of how our programs work. We partner with either a foreign university or a program provider, like a study abroad company, who are putting together all the logistics like housing, um, the classroom spaces, um, medical insurance, um, sort of a 24 seven staff support while you're there. So there's a lot of different support built in. Um, and then each program is gonna have a bunch of different activities and excursions to get you out into the city and seeing more of this new place that you're spending um, a month or an entire quarter abroad. Um, there's definitely options to use your financial aid, um, grants, loans, GI Bill, um, Running Start tuition waiver, and scholarships as well to help fund at least part of the cost of study abroad. So it's definitely something that if you're giving yourself enough time to save, 
it can be um, financially achievable for you as well. So that's just an overview of how our study abroad works. If you're interested in learning more, if you have questions about funding study abroad, if you wanna know about some of the specific destinations, um, definitely come and talk to me. Uh, my office is in CC1, room 040, which is International Programs Office. You can also email me at international at cascadia.edu. Cascadia, um, our website, uh, just cascadia.edu has a study abroad website you can check out, um, as well as the Wixa Consortium website, which is Wixa, which is W-C-C-C-S-A dot com. Um, yeah, I think that's all. So yeah, email and check out the website. I do info sessions every quarter, so I hope to talk to you soon about studying abroad as a Cascadia student. Bye.